Hello world, this is Lock Picking Dev. Today I have Master Lock number five. I have one in my hand, I have one back here behind me gutted already. You can see that I did already try gutting this one as well as another one over here, but I guess they just had enough water in them or rust or whatever where the pins were too tight and just didn't want to budge. So I ended up going through about three of these trying to get one open and finally did. But um, <clears throat> let's get a lock open real quick. I uh, call this a lock picking video. Oh, there we go, okay. So we see that was really quick, really easy. The reason being is because we see here, this is the exact same uh, uh, plug and core uh, cylinder and everything that we saw on the master lock number ones and threes. Um, it is also four pins just like them. It is also all standard, which I will gut and demonstrate just a second. I will cut and show that at the very end. And as well, another thing to note is the actuator. So the actuator back in here is that red spring again with that little spot where that spring gets hooked in. So if that looks familiar to you, it's because we saw that on our um, master lock number one, commercial and regular as well. So there's our actuator. There's where the ball bearings are is there and the way it works. You can see the ball bearings back there now, so we won't be able to fit it in, but the way it works is when you put it in here, it goes like that, but you have to put it in like this so that spring fits in, then you have to turn it. When you get it all the way down in there, you have to push something down in here and turn this and add that spring tension right there until it gets about halfway right there, and then it will click all the way down in for those ball bearings for it to work. But as you can see, this is pretty much just an oversized master lock. Um, number one, there's not a whole lot to it. So anyways, um, let me cut. I'll be right back and show you the pins. Okay, there is our master number five all gutted. As we can see, all standard on the top and the bottom. And this one again was crimped in the back on both sides. As we can see right there, I had trouble getting it out. So all I did is um, I turned it completely upside down. I dropped the key pins. Then I dropped the driver pins down in the keyway and then I just took these pair of pliers and I broke the springs back and forth until they fell out the bottom hole here. But anyway, here is our master number five. There it is. There's one with the uh, the five still on it. <laughs> Anyways, the already one that is pretty much an oversized master number one. Thanks for watching.